come to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells bat and Batteries at the Hanover Fair 2017. We are here at the Technical Forum and my name is Muriel Buakas. Uh, right now we are in a series of six presentations regarding the topic Hydrogen Production and Energy Storage. Um, the upcoming presentation will be regarding hydrogen storage in liquid organic hydrogen carriers, insights from first project experience, and please welcome with me on stage Head of Product Management of Hydrogen Technologies GmbH, Dr. Martin Schneider. Thank you. The stage is yours and I'm very much looking forward to your presentation. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you very much for this very kind introduction. Welcome the whole crowd uh, to my presentation. I'm going to show you some first insights into our uh, project results. So first of all, Hydrogenius Technology is the first uh, few words on the company. It was founded by Dr. Daniel Teichmann in the year 2013 and three co-founding professors of the University of Erlangen-Nürnberg where extensive research projects together with BMW foc focused on the hydrogen storage and transportation in liquid organic hydrogen carriers. The company currently has 31 full-time employees, 25 patent families and focuses on LOH technology for hydrogen transport and storage in uh, commercial industrial supply and mobility supply applications. And together with our partners, Anglo-American Platinum, our investor, uh, the university and uh, our suppliers of the, of the liquids and the catalysts, Sassel and Clariant, and together with MAN, where we focus on scale-up of the system, uh, we want to commercialize this technology for uh, various applications. So first of all, LOC technology, what we are talking about uh, is a technology where you can store hydrogen in a chemical process reversibly in a hydrogen carrier material. And we use dibenzyl toluene, which is a heat transfer fluid well established in industry, used at temperatures up to 300 to 350 degrees Celsius to transport heat. We use it as hydrogen carrier in this reversible process where it is hydrogenated, loaded with nine molecules of hydrogen per molecule of dibenzyl toluene in a, a catalytic hydrogenation reaction at 150 to 250 degrees Celsius and 30 to 50 bars of pressure. Uh, and the loaded liquid is, uh, can then be stored at ambient conditions in conventional fuel infrastructure, just like gasoline or diesel today. And the loaded liquid as well as the unloaded liquids are not considered a dangerous good for road transport. They have a very low toxicity and a very low flammability and are not explosive. So in terms of handling and storage of hydrogen, uh, you have a very high advantage using this technology. Then upon hydrogen demand, you can release the hydrogen from these loaded liquids in a dehydrogenation reaction at one, 200 180 to 300 degrees Celsius to release hydrogen at 1 to 3 bars absolute pressure and you can use it in a hydrogen fuel cell application at a hydrogen refueling station or whatever hydrogen industrial process you have. The handling advantage is or one of the handling advantages is best shown in this short video. Here you can see uh, the unloaded liquid uh, which is um, uh, we, which our co-worker tries to burn here and you can see due to the low vol volatility and uh, the low vapor pressure of this liquid even in the loaded form uh, it is hardly flammable and non-explosive. So in terms of transporting and storing large quantities, large amounts of hydrogen, you have a very high advantage using LOHC technology compared to compressed gas or liquid hydrogen. And you can do that on scale. We uh, use for our first projects um, standard IBC containers, one cubic meter, and one of these containers uh, you can see on the right hand side in the loaded, uh, uh, having the loaded liquid, uh, it can uh, store up to 57 kilograms of hydrogen, which equals roughly 57 gas bottles. Um, and the storage and transportation is relatively straightforward and easy. In 
our first projects we have realized, uh, these are just some of the systems we have built, where you can see uh, we have a storage system constructed and built up at our uh, facilities and headquarters in Erlangen, uh, which is an automated alloy C hydrogen storage system, and it operates together with a photovoltaic on the rooftop and the Siemens PEM electrolyzer, and stores up to 10 norm cubic meters of hydrogen in LOHC, and is in continuous operation since May 2015. The one reactor you can see in the middle is uh, the world's first system fully operational uh, to store and release hydrogen in one of the same system for localized energy storage applications. And it was developed in cooperation with the Helmholtz Institute. And at the bottom, you can see the release box system that we have placed at the Fraunhofer IAO in Stuttgart, which is roughly 200 kilometers away from our headquarters, uh, where this system works together with a PEM fuel cell and is integrated in the microsmart grid uh, in the in the local research project at this research institute in this first demo system, we store photovoltaic power by means of uh, the Siemens electrolyzer. We generate hydrogen. We store the hydrogen in our storage box. Then the loaded LOHC is transported to uh, Stuttgart, to the Fraunhofer Center, where the hydrogen is released from the liquids again and uh, used in a PEM fuel cell to power the uh, local microsmart grid and to charge uh, or the co to cover the peak demand of the uh, um, local charging stations for electric vehicles. The uh, hydrogenation system, as I said, is in continuous operation since May. Here you can see a six-month um, uh, daily uh, schedule of, of the system where it was uh, intensified or where it was intensively tested in a daily routine startup, shutdown, startup, shutdown in cooperation with the Siemens electrolyzer and the photovoltaic and with a medium storage uh, capacity of 0 0.6 kilograms per, per hour of hydrogen, which equals 6.7 non cubic meters or roughly 20 kilowatts based on the lower heat value of hydrogen. We now scale this system up together with MAN and the joint cooperation into the megawatt scale to make sure uh, to realize industrial scale hydrogenation reactors uh, in, in this cooperation and making use of the um, patented salt bed reactor technology of MAN. The uh, field test that we uh, that I showed earlier uh, is then um, uh, realized by means of uh, the standard IBC containers that I introduced earlier, where we store and transport the hydrogen uh, in in just a, a very simple way and in a very safe way. It is then uh, used uh, to to load the. Uh, release box, the hydrogen release system at the Fraunhofer IAO um, to uh, support the micro smart grid and the peak demand of the electric charging uh, uh, station there. You, here you can see the demo system. It's located on a parking deck and it operates together with a PV and a 100 kilowatt hour battery storage in this micro smart grid. Uh, and the 30 kilowatt PEM fuel cell supplies uh, peak power in, uh, in, in this demand scenario. We currently built up three systems for the United States for a hydrogen logistics company. United Hydrogen is a company that wants to extend their supply radius of hydrogen uh, where they currently use high pressure tube trailers and uh, due to the five times higher storage capacity of LOHC compared to their standard tube trailers they use currently, uh, they can expand their supply radius up to 700 kilometers uh, and gain more customers. Um, and they bought three systems from us, one storage box uh, being able to store 9 .1 kilo, up to 9.1 kilograms of hydrogen per hour and two release box systems releasing 3 kilograms and 0 0.2 kilograms per hour for industrial customer and a power plant uh, generator cooling application. We are also involved in a, a big research initiative um, funded by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research, uh, the biggest research initiative in uh, terms of the Energiewende to research uh, power to X technologies. And our cluster focuses on LOHC based hydrogen supply for industry and hydrogen refueling station applications.
And here we develop uh, with partners like Lindy, ThyssenKrupp, Areva, and Clariant uh, LOHC systems that uh, will be able to supply hydrogen refueling stations and to uh, upgrade existing fueling stations with LOHC technology to supply hydrogen on demand. And with this, I want to finalize my talk and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. Are there any questions? Thank you very much for the presentation. Um, I just have a question regarding the loaded liquid yes. that you're using. It has been mentioned that it's reusable. Yes. What do you mean by that? So you basically you just use the liquids as a carrier that is loaded and unloaded, loaded and unloaded over, over and over again. With a cycles, up to 1,000 cycles that we target uh, for, with our systems, uh, so um, to, to make sure that you have a long lifetime uh, depending on the application scenario that you're, that you're focusing. But you, you reuse the liquid after you de hydrogenated after you have released the hydrogen again to load it again at the source of hydrogen and to transport it back and forth between the hydrogen supply and the hydrogen demand. Hi, in the uh, project that you showed, uh, is there any form of thermal integration? Yes, so in the at our facilities, we have uh, integrated the PV system together with the electrolyzer and the storage system. The storage system has excess heat and also the electrolyzer has excess heat. Both of these heat streams are used to heat the, uh, to supply the local heat demand of the local swimming school, which is located right next to our headquarters. So we have a heat integration here. And at the Fraunhofer IAO in Stuttgart, uh, the dehydrogenation, uh, we supply the heat by means of a hydrogen burner, which is connected to the system, where uh, you, you uh, burn part of the hydrogen to, re to, to supply the heat demand of the dehydrogenation. And we have internal heat recovery of the systems, so we use all the heat that is stored within the liquid, within the process, to re uh, or, or to reheat or, or uh, to heat the fresh uh, feed stream uh, of LOHC that is fed into the system. So internal heat integration, but also external heat integration is realized. Hello, my name is Christian Beuter, and uh, my question is. Um, I've, I've seen in your presentation that uh, mainly stationary equipment is addressed with your technology, let's say in general. Um, how do you see the possibility to use it in, um, in, in the mobility area for, for cars, for transporters, for, for trucks or in this yes. direction? I, I saw the, the logo of MAN. Yeah. So I'm expecting that there's going a little bit uh, towards miniaturization of Yes, system. you're very right to expect that. Uh, so this was actually the starting point of the technology. In joint cooperation with BMW, the University of Erlangen-Nuremberg did extensive research like six years ago, to uh, starting six years or seven years ago, uh, to bring this technology on board of cars. Because then you can imagine you can use the existing infrastructure that you have for gasoline and diesel to transport hydrogen at ambient conditions and to supply fueling stations and just release the hydrogen on board of cars. So this was the initial starting point of this technology. Right now, this technology is at a stage where we realize stationary systems. The first mobility applications that will come into play and that will be researched uh, on or developed will be shipping or maybe truck or, uh, or train applications where the footprint of the systems, which are currently, which which is currently needed is uh, not as critical as in a BMW, BMW 7 series. But uh, our future vision, of course, is to bring this technology, to develop this technology to a stage where you can realize it on a very small footprint inside a car. Great, thanks. Um, I think there could be going on discussions later. So I invite you to visit all um, them at the booth at uh, number B74. Later yes. on, All we will be there and we'll welcome you. Thank you very much for your time and your presentation. It was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.
So we will continue with uh, our series in a few minutes at 11 a.m. with a presentation from ITM Power regarding ITM Power 100 megawatt electrolyzer. Please stay with us, help yourself with some drinks or coffees, and we see each other in a few minutes. Thank you very much.